Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Rich Side. Today we need to get serious. If we're working towards perfection, we need to get a wiggle on. Oh, we have the pirate's wife quest. We will have to start that. I think we could do that already because we already have Kent unlocked. Usually when I get that quest, I don't have Kent. <laughs> but yeah, I really do want to start making some moves, some big changes, making some big progress in this playthrough because I want to finish perfection, you know, before year 10 <laughs> as a potential goal. I'm going to clear as much of the farm as I can here. Obviously, I don't have my axe right now. I can go and grab it. Maybe I should do that, perhaps. I think I'm going to run to Clint's quickly and grab the axe since it's done and then come all the way back here and clear the whole farm. So one area that we have entirely neglected so far is definitely friendships with the vanilla characters. We've literally ignored vanilla characters up until this point. So that's going to be pretty difficult to try and get those all done. Like literally look at what we're dealing with. They're all in the zero. Like, that's terrible. Oh, whilst we're back to go to Clint's, I may as well start Birdie's quest line since we're back here anyways. And Kent is like literally just here. Let's give Kent the war memento. This is a very sad story. Thank you for bringing me this. It means a lot to me. Here, take this. It's been sitting in the back of our cupboard for years and we've never used it. Okay, this obviously goes up to Gus. So let's take this to Gus quickly. Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. Okay, I'm going to go to Clint's. Why does Gus still have to be locked? Like, he should start opening earlier. He knows that I'm a trusted member of community. Open early for me, Gus. Don't be shy. I will have to get the key to the town at some point because I cannot be dealing with that. Okay, let's grab our gold axe. Yay, we received our gold axe. Oh, I probably should upgrade something more, but I don't have any of my bars with me. I don't even know what I'd go for. Probably the hoe. Although we need the hoe for the island right now. Hmm... I think we need our tools right now, unfortunately, but I will have to come back at some point and do that. Also, I have a secret note. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't read it. It was about fishing. It is also Jodie's birthday. I probably should gift her. If we're wanting to work towards perfection, I need to start taking notice of birthdays, really. What does Jodie love, though? I swear she loves diamonds and like chocolate cake and stuff. Do we have a diamond on us? We don't currently, but I can run home and get one. I'm pretty sure we have diamonds. Let's go and gift Jody, I guess. This feels dirty to do in a Ridgeside playthrough, but listen, I want perfection. <laughs> Look, Floor's out here. She's probably missing us. She's like, where have you been? This is for Floor. Speaking of Floor, I should probably get her a ruby too, because I don't think we've maxed our friendship with her still. Oh, there's one. I'll grab that for Floor, and I will grab a diamond as well for Jody. I'm gonna empty my inventory a little bit because it's a hot mess. Okay, Floor, take this ruby. 13 hearts. Okay, we need to get her to 14. Or actually, maybe we don't have to max her friendship. I think you just have to get her to 12 and a half hearts, right? So that you get the star drop. I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. So we actually have a bunch more ancient fruit ready in the greenhouse. So I will spend the time to just grab all of this really quick. Because that means we can make more seeds on the island, which is perfect. And I am going to bring the seed maker with me to the island so we can do that a little faster. And I'm quickly going to do the shed as well. I literally can't help myself, can I? <laughs> I just can't help myself. I mean, we need the money, to be honest. Look how measly our funds are looking right now. So it is worthwhile to keep on filling these kegs and jars up. Okay, I will leave now. <laughs> I'm done. Finally, it took me long enough. Over to Jodie's quickly to gift her her birthday present. And then I will probably pop to Pierre's and just sell all of our goods so we can get the money immediately. I want more monies. <laughs> Is Jodie here? She's not. I should probably check my map, shouldn't I? So I don't waste time. Okay, she's in the town. Oh, I'm also late enough to go to Gus's now, so I may as well do that too. <laughs> my to-do list just keeps getting longer. Happy birthday, Jodie. So now we have three hearts with her. Okay, that's amazing. We're like almost a third of the way there with her already. So I'll just have to keep giving Jodie diamonds. I suppose we can work on people one by one if it's really needed. Oh, omelette cutscene. Skip. Hi, Gus. I have you some tomato salt. Enjoy. Slurp, slurp. That zesty taste, that gritty texture. I have a question for you, Gus. How on earth do you slurp salt? It just doesn't seem very slurpable. If anyone can do it, Gus can. <laughs> okay, we got the Stardew Valley Rose. I'm obviously not about to run to the desert for Sandy right now, so 
we're just gonna have to stop there with that quest <laughs> i am gonna grab these lucky lunch though because they were only 500 a pop so they're mine now and let's quickly run to pierre's and sell all of our goods and then we'll head to the island i haven't forgotten okay money time yo like it's literally as easy as that we make so much money Oh, I also might buy some fairy seeds to put on the island. I know they're a really good way to make money once they've fully grown and you get honey from them. We obviously have some at our farm at the moment, in our normal Pelican Town farm, but they will expire at the end of the season, whereas the island ones won't. So I think it'll be worth to buy a couple of these right now. I'm just going to do like 20. I think 20 will be good. Yeah, we'll grab 20 seeds and we'll plant those. I will need sprinklers for those though. Hmm. Okay, I'll run home. <laughs> I think I have sprinklers in a chest, so I'm just gonna run and check because I don't want to use iridium sprinklers on them. You want to space them out with like the basic sprinklers so that you can surround them with the honey homes and get as much honey as possible. Honey homes? Sorry, <laughs> beehives. <laughs> Why did I say honey homes? I mean, that's kind of a cute name for them to be fair. Okay, we have quality sprinklers. We don't have anything else. Is that it? Um, that's not ideal. Your girl be needing basic sprinklers, please. I guess I gotta make some. I think I can literally craft a singular one, so I'm just gonna leave it. Let's go to the bloomin' island, shall we? Hey, I could even take my horse so quicker. Why haven't I been using my horse? Honestly, what am I like? I bought this horse and then just fail to use it every single day. That's kind of amusing. Oh no, am I gonna be too late to get there? I really hope I'm not. He shuts at five, right? I've got time. Okay, let's get our butts on this boat and let's sail over to the island. Right, I would like to start our ancient seed farm over here. We've finally got our axe now so we can get rid of all of this debris on the farm and we can make a pretty little ancient fruit farm. I mean, actually pretty is not important to us. We just want it to produce a lot of money. Our ridgeside farm is gonna be the pretty one. This farm, not so much. We'll just have these going along as many as we can fit right now. Okay, perfect. I need to clear all of this space and then plant these ancient seed down. Oh, actually, whilst I'm doing all this, I should probably place my seed makers and be turning the rest of the ancient fruit into seeds again. Let's get started on that. Wow, an upgraded hoe would really help right now. Let's get planting, baby. Gosh, it's so satisfying just knowing all of these are going to be ancient fruit. Like, that's gorgeous. That's stunning, actually. Oh, we got a journal scrap with an easy walnut. We can definitely go and grab that. I love them easy ones. We are down to our last two ancient fruit for now. We've planted all of our seeds. They currently fill just about three iridium sprinklers, which I think is pretty decent. That's a really good start for the amount of ancient fruit we need. This has taken us all day though. <laughs> oh, how satisfying. It fits perfectly. So we have exactly 75 ancient fruit planted right now because there's 25 each, right? Oh wait, no, 24. So we have 70... Two? I think we have 72 ancient fruit. <laughs> That's hard maths for me. Okay, day well spent. We are going to head off to bed now. And we made no money. Wow. I guess we did make money. We just sold it to Pierre instead. Oh, and it's June's birthday today. <gasps> well, we have to go and visit June and give him a gift. That's super important. We want to work on his friendship because he's currently like a zero, maybe a one. Before I go, I want to do a little bit more cleaning on the island farm just since we're here. I want to clear back as much debris as possible because I just hate looking at all this mess. I'm also going to chop enough wood to make us a quick chest over here because I don't think we have one yet. Oh, and whilst I remember, I might go and grab the walnut from the journal scrap that we just got last night. Oh, are you joking me? There was a golden walnut here all along. Okay, well, I'll grab that. Also, knocking coconuts from the trees is a good way to get golden coconuts. I think it might be the only way to get golden coconuts, perhaps. And golden coconuts can also have really cool things in them. So we should be doing that as well. Okay, I think it was here, right? <gasps> yeah, let's go. We have two walnuts to our name. We're doing so well. <laughs> I also got some more taro tubers to plant down. So that looks kind of nice and neat now. And let's make ourselves a chest. And also a sign for some reason. <laughs> I'm going to stick a piece of ginger on it because that represents Ginger Island. And we'll just dump everything that we don't need in here. Also, I bought some parfing just to make the island look a little cuter. I know we're not decorating it or anything, but we can have some fun. Okay, let's head home now. We need to get a gift for June. I don't think we know what they love, right? I think we only know likes. Yeah, we only know liked gifts right now. I'm not gonna cheat. I don't want to check. I'm just gonna see what we can gift him. 
Oh, we got golden coconuts and an artifact trove. That's pretty tasty. Also, is Leo about on the island today? Because I could gift him a duck feather. Ooh, a cutscene with Leo. What cutscene is this? Oh, this is when he finally talks to us. Hi, Leo. I am going to skip it. You're very cute and adorable, but like, I don't have the time. We've simply got too much to do. I can gift you and then I must dash. I love this. I'm going to put it in my nest. He's so wholesome. Okay, thanks, Leo. Also, we may as well check the bird. Does it give us any advice yet? Okay, yeah. Just the volcano mines. Yeah, well, we haven't even attempted that yet, have we? There's so much to do on the island. I can't believe I'm aiming for perfection. Truly. <laughs> I'm just not content until I reach ultimate completion. Okay, let's return home. God, this boat looks so cute. I love the string lights. I wish we could have those string lights like in our house or like as a decor item. Imagine you could buy string lights from Robin's. Oh, I think we got some of the things we needed. I'm pretty sure we needed a shrimp and a lobster, actually. So that's pretty satisfying. OK, I'm going to run home via the traveling merchant just because I'm curious. <laughs> I know she doesn't give us anything good, but I'm so curious. And there's usually a furniture item and I like to treat myself. And look, there's a common mushroom next to her. So it was perfect. Uh, yeah, she has nothing. I mean, actually, a houseplant. Yeah, I'll take it. I will absolutely take that. The shrimp cocktail just looks so epic. Like, I want to eat that so bad. Okay, let's run home. There was nothing really good. I did get a houseplant though, and I'm happy about it. I think Flora is going to love our new houseplant. I mean, how could you not? And what should I gift June? I really, really don't know. So he's obviously into music. So that doesn't help us much. Um, maybe a gem? Or I could do some kind of like cake or something. We do have quite a few cakes. Like a jumpy coffee cake. He likes coffee, so maybe a coffee cake would be good. I totally should have organized him a birthday party. Thinking about it now. Ah, well. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, you know. We gotta move on. I'm gonna place my houseplant quickly and then... Oh, I literally have this one. Oh, well, that looks kind of cute, actually. The two of them together. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta go gift June. We also have mayo. What could this be? Oh, we got the fried calamari recipe from Jody. We have to get all the recipes from all of the vanilla characters still. Oh, <laughs> perfection is too much. Have I put enough more than I can chew? I think potentially I have. Someone tell me this is a bad idea to aim for perfection. Please make me stop. Okay, here he is. Hi June, have this jumpy coffee cake. You remembered my birthday, thank you, this is great. Okay, I think it was a like. No, I'm pretty sad, we only have two hearts of him still. If you have time, I hope you see me play today. I do not have the time, bud, I'm so sorry. I simply do not have the time. Ooh, a good way to make money though is these request board items. <gasps> Charity wish list. we could probably do this now. I'm willing to pay a handsome fee to anyone who can provide my charity organization with eggs, wool and milk. Easy, we've got the facilities to do this, I truly believe. I have been saving wool, eggs and milk for this very moment. Let's accept her charity wish list. I think we can get that done easy. And also she's one of the friendships I don't really wanna work on. So to get friendship points this way by not talking to her is an added bonus so we need 50 of each i'll have to go back home and check how many we've got currently but i'm pretty sure it'll be close to 50 i just want to give some presents out around town because some of the villagers here we're still pretty low friendship with okay i stocked up on some food items to give as gifts and let's see who we still have to work on. We've got quite a few of Max friendships, but there's still a good number of people who we don't have Max friendship with. Oh, this is going to be so hard. We just got to constantly be gifting. Also, is there any birthdays? Wait, birthday parties for vanilla characters might be a really good idea too. Ooh, Sandy could be a good one because we probably won't go and visit Sandy that much. We also have Ian. Oh, Ian, we're maxed already. We don't need to do a birthday party for Ian. So it's between Abby and Sandy. I think I'm going to go for Sandy. I think we're more likely to have an amethyst in our pocket and visit Abby than we are to go all the way out of our way to the desert. Although we do need to go to the desert right now because we've got this dang stuff. Stardew Valley Rose. But either way, we need the friendship points with Sandy. Ooh, Kiara's someone we've really skipped out on. I remember at the start of this series, I had a big thing, a big crush on Kiara, and now I've just kind of iced her out. That's so sad. Let's give her a blueberry pie. She kind of liked it. And to Philip as well. Oh, that was a waste. We have eight hearts. Philip, give me that pie back. <laughs> 
Philip keeps reminding me I have one chance to heal and have to take it slow. But yo, but I'm so tired of taking it slow. Aw, Shiro. Here, have a blueberry pie. You're so kind, thanks. No, you. Okay, we've got to go to the rich people's house again. This hurts my soul every time, but we need to get their friendships done. Wait, I've already given Irene two gifts this week? Huh? What about the others in here? Have I been gifting them? I literally have. Oh my god, I've given people too many gifts. I'm just so generous. Irene has been bugging me to go for a stroll along the ridge. I don't think I'll ever have the time though. Hey, you know what? Breaks are important, Arya. You gotta take breaks too. Okay, I think that was a pretty good day of like gift giving and other random activities. So I'm pretty content to head back home now. We got a lot done. I think we made a lot of friendship points. So I would definitely count that as a day well spent. Oh, have I max friendship with Kayahi? No, I have not. I should totally do that. Seven hearts with him. I think Trini we definitely have max friendship with though. Pretty sure. Yeah, 10 whole hearts. We haven't got far to go with Kayahi though. Oh, here's Brile. I guess I'll give him something. Stinky Brile. The other fun thing about building all these friendships is we will get more cutscenes. So we'll unlock more Ridgeside content too, which does excite me. Obviously, we're going to be grinding quite a lot of vanilla perfection stuff very soon in this playthrough. Would y'all like to see that or do you want me to like cut that stuff out? Because obviously this series is about Ridgeside predominantly. So I don't know if you want to see the vanilla stuff in here. For instance, doing the volcano mines on the island and the walnut search and stuff. Do you still want to see all that or do you want me to just kind of cut that out? <laughs> oh, and we can finally get rid of this meteor that has been sat on our farm forever. And now it's gone. Let's go. We only got six iridium from that. Yo, what a stinker. That is not good. I do need a piece of hardwood to replace that now because that was kind of acting as our fence. <laughs> Let's grab a piece of hardwood. Oh, and whilst I'm here, I should grab these tappers too because we've got a lot more oak trees that have grown in in our oak tree farm. So we can start tappering all of these. Nice. We're going to be able to make so many kegs. We only have a few more trees to grow in over there. And I wanted to come in here and have a check at our animal products. Do we have enough wool already? Literally, we have 90 wool. What? No, because that's actually wild. We only need 50. We might actually have everything we need already. We don't have tons of milk. Okay, I think that's just about 50 milk there. Let me do the maths real quick. 24 plus 11. That is 35 plus 5. 40 plus... That's 48. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know maths. 50. I think that's 50. <laughs> and then we need 50 eggs as well. Oh, I just realized the animals don't have any food. We need to go and get some hay from Marnie's. That's probably why they've stopped producing us products. And I'll also place the fence down. That looks cute. And how about them eggs though? Let's see. Is there eggs in here for us? Oh my God, there's so many eggs. <laughs> And duck feathers too. Don't see any rabbit's feet though. We're gonna have to get so many rabbit's feet so that we can finish friendship quickly. I cannot pick this up. Maybe I have to come back in the morning and try and get the rest of these things. Either way, I think I have enough eggs potentially to get all 50, so that's pretty good. Tomorrow we will gather some hay from Marnie's because I feel bad for our poor animals. They have absolutely nothing right now. They are starving. But yeah, we'll gather some hay and I think I'm also going to buy some rabbits as well. And then we can go up and donate all the things we need to do for the charity wishlist quest and get that one completed. Our to-do list is looking pretty good right now. Let's also go and upgrade our hoe. It's about time. We'll do that tomorrow. I will add that to the to-do list. We're finally going to do a hoe upgrade. And if we go over to do the hoe, we may as well open up some of these geodes too. Since we just have them sitting in our chest. But we've got a lot to do tomorrow, so for now, I'm going to head off to sleep. Yes, some beauty sleep. Snuggle up with our little wife and cat. <laughs> Living the dream, truly. And we're also making so much money. I don't want to brag or anything, but like, look at those numbers. Okay, let's take our morning coffee and let's get to doing. We have so much to do this morning. Let's start by heading off to Marnie's. Actually, wait, we have loads of hay that we can cut back here. I'll start with this. I think we'll still have to go to Marnie's for a bit more hay. This isn't going to give us like enough. This was all just sitting here waiting to be cut down and I simply did not. My poor animals, they deserve better. Wait, what happened here? Did I just never plant enough? 
why did I do that? That's so horrible. Why did I not finish the amount of fairy roses I needed? I probably thought about it and then just didn't do it. Okay, of course she's not open yet. So I've just got to sit and wait. The audacity. It's also Abby's birthday, so I can easily just grab her an amethyst and take that to her and get those friendship points. Definitely worth doing. And I should probably honestly give Jodie a diamond as well to keep working on her friendship so we don't lose too much. Okay, we can buy some hay and some rabbits. Let's do that. Let's grab the hay first. How much should I get? Honestly, we need a lot. Let's just get a couple hundred, I suppose. 250 seems good. And then let's buy some rabbits. How many can we even fit, I wonder? We might have to get a new coop at some point. Wee Wee? I just randomly generated the names and Wee Wee the Wabbit is so cute. So we're going with Wee Wee. Wee Wee the Wabbit. Okay, can we buy another? Can we fit another is the big question. I'm just going to buy as many as we can until we can't fit any more. Uh, that's kind of funny. F you the rabbit. Okay, it's got to be F you the rabbit. <laughs> so we got Wee Wee and F you. By the way, look at Floor right now. What a cutie. Outside doing a spot of reading. I love my wife. Okay, that's literally all we could get. That building is full. We need to get another coop. We're going to have to buy another coop for sure because I need more rabbits. I need more rabbit's feet. Unless we delete some of our chickens, but I feel like I'm emotionally attached to them. Okay, time to upgrade our hoe, but first we need to open geodes. We don't have a lot of inventory space to open these geodes, so I've kind of done this in a really bad order. But, um, <laughs> what's new? Oh, we got a new reward for donating that. What did we get? Oh, some farm totems. That's pretty nice, actually. I wonder how far we are done with the museum. We must be pretty close. Okay, I think I should run home quickly and just dump a load of stuff first because we can't open geodes like this. It would just take forever. I should really just make a chest and leave it at Clint's so I can put my stuff in it whilst I open geodes. I'm just going to do that. That's genius. Also going to shove my hay in the silo real quick. Now they can finally be fed. Sorry, animals. Your hate for me is valid. And you see that, right? I did indeed grab an amethyst for Abigail. I didn't forget because I've got great brain power and I never forget things and I'm just really good at it. So, yeah. <laughs> right, Abby, where art thou? Take my amethyst. Caroline, get out my way. I'm trying to woo your daughter. Right, over to Clint's. Smelly old Clint. Oh, and I have a diamond for Jody. Here you go. Four hearts. I'm really wooing everyone today. I'm going to place a chest and put everything I don't need to open geodes in there for now. Right, let's open coconuts. <gasps> Walnut, let's go. And tarot tubers. Oh, okay. Thanks, Clint. You tried. And then let's just open all these geodes, shall we? Okay, we are done. We got a lot of rubbish, I think. But let's see if we can actually donate any of this stuff. That we've donated. That we've donated. These we have. That we have. Oh my god, did we get anything new? Literally, we got nothing new. That was devastating. Wait, are we like really close to being done or something? I know we have to keep a marble, so I'm going to keep one of those for a crafting recipe. But are we really close to being done? Not even. Huh? We got nothing new. That's pretty devastating. I'm not going to lie. What the heck, Clint? If that is even your real name. Well, at least I can go and upgrade the hoe, I guess. Here, take my hoe. And let's take all of this stuff now. I'm leaving and I'm not coming back until next time I need to open geodes, Clint. Or I guess I'll come back for my hoe in a few days, actually. It's quite humbling when you just need to go back there, you know. You can't really have a big dramatic walkout. Because uh, I'll be back in a few days and he'll probably remember. So just got to keep my cool, keep my calm. Speaking of trying to keep our cool and calm, I need to go and talk to Mrs. Amethine. Ugh. <laughs> and donate all of this charity wishlist stuff now. So we can go and do that. I definitely think I have enough, hopefully. Unless I've miscounted. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, I think it said to donate it in a box at the top of the stairs. Here it is. So we've got the milk. We got the, of course, soft fluffy wool. 50 of those. And the eggs might be where I've counted wrong, but let's see. Yay, I think that was all done. Oh my gosh, 80,000? I will happily take 80,000. Are you joking me? We're back over 100K. Like what? Hi, Sonny. I want to gift you something, but I have nothing. Here, have a cheese. 
Oh, I've already given you twice anyway. Okay, my cheese then. Okay, I might spend the rest of the day just foraging around Ridgeside, seeing what we can get and stuff. We've done a lot this episode. So I think it'll be nice to just have a little bit of a relaxing end to the episode. I also have not checked in this cave for a while. See if there's any nice flowers for us. Mm. <gasps> a fox bloom? <laughs> I think yes. A fox bloom sells for so much as well, but I should probably take it up to the nature lady. What's her name? Nature spirit? <laughs> I don't know if she'd want another one. I've already given her one once. I wonder if she'd want another one. <gasps> Cutscene with torts? Stop. To turt? Hi torts. My day is complete. My life is complete. <gasps> what was that? Was that a ghost? What was that noise? It sounds like it came from the forest. It sounded like a ghost. Don't go there, Torts. Let me investigate, not you. What should I do? Go and investigate. Definitely. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my god, look at us, little investigation squad. Ooh. Step forward. Protect Torts at all cost. The creature seems to be in a lot of pain. It looks like it got caught in some kind of trap. Let's help it. Oh, wait, maybe this isn't a Torts cutscene? Kiwi. Lil. Hi, Kiwi. Hello, Lil. Are you out monster hunting as well? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I was just chilling with Torts. Torts stares in turtle. I love that. That is everything. Oh, evidently not if Torts is with you. Are you insulting my bestie Torts? Is that rude? It feels rude. Us? The seer tasked us with clearing the woods of monsters today. Even though you freed the spirit realm from Gabriella's hold, she still sends the occasional minion here. As you can see, why don't you finish this one off? I must say, I'm quite curious to see the skills of the warrior who saved our realm firsthand. Aw, can't we set it free? Dot dot dot. What should I do? Do a sick 360 finishing move, kill the monster, let it go, tell Geo to kill it himself. Oh my god, what should I do? Oh, I don't know, because I feel like this is a Torts cutscene and he will want me to let it go. But equally, like, should I let it go? Will it hurt people? It would hurt me if I let it go, right? So maybe I should just do a really cool 360 finishing move. I kind of also want to see if that's animated, because that'll be really cool. I doubt it's animated to be 360 finishing move, but I'm going to do a sick 360 finishing move. Let's do it. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my god, it was animated. <laughs> That's so cool! Lil, go whoosh! Mean monster go blah! Aw, Kiwi was impressed by me. Hmm, a bit flashy perhaps, but impressive nonetheless. Ha! Huh, I impressed him. I hope Tort still likes me. Alright, Kiwi and I will be on our way then. So long. Oh no, Torts. Do you still love me? Oh! Oh, that was the end of the cutscene. We'll never know what Torts thought about us. Why was Torts there in the beginning? I feel such a mix of emotions now. Okay, I did want to see if we could throw a foxglove into the water again. I don't know if we'll be able to because we've already done it once. Oh, my fox bloom rather. Yes? Okay, we can get another cutscene. Is this? Thank you for returning a piece of my heart, Lil. I can't wait to show Belinda. I'll grant you a wonderful blessing, O farmer. I've made sure all your farm crops have grown. Does that include my ancient fruit? It can't include my ancient fruit, can it? I bet it's just the ones on my regular farm. Okay, so she does the same thing every time then. She just gives us grown crops. Okay, that's good to know. I'd rather take the money, probably. I do wonder if we have any more quests here at Geo's house. Because I know we had some. Yeah, look, we have some here. Oh, uh, we have to kill some Pepperexes and Viprioles. I don't even know what a Vipriol is. Shall we accept it? We only have 16 days to do this in. Oh, uh, I don't even know what a Vipriol is. 50 Pepperexes or Vipriol? Oh my god, it's one of those really scary purple-headed ones. Stop it. That's simply too much. I cannot do 50. No, well, that is... That's simply gonna fail, I'm afraid. I think I might spend the rest of this evening just chopping wood here. I think it's always good to gather more wood. We need resources, of course, especially when it comes to crafting everything later on. And for house upgrades too, as we are gonna need to fully upgrade our house for perfection. And I probably should get a new coop soon too, to house more rabbits. Oh, also, could I get hay from this? <gasps> I actually can. I could have just like saved my money and just chopped hay instead. Well, now we know at least. Oh my god, Dyer, I forgot about them. I only have one singular heart. I need to give them so much stuff. I spend my leisure time getting to know the locals. They have interesting stories. And it's a nice way to gather information regarding the area and culture as well. Aw, that's pretty precious and wholesome. 
Let's give her a flower. You must really like me, don't you? I love this. Thank you. <gasps> it's a loved gift. We found a loved gift. Are you joking? Let's go. See, it feels so rewarding when we just figure it out ourselves. So a violet devil's claw is a loved gift for Daya. It's alluring scent and aesthetic makes it popular for perfumes and decorations. Okay, good to know. We can just gift her those now all the time. Because I think we have quite a few of those at home. Whereas chopping trees down is so much easier with the upgraded axe. Oh, it makes life so much nicer. <laughs> this is your sign to upgrade your tools. If you've just stuck at the steel ones, this is your sign to upgrade them. Okay, it's getting pretty late now, so I'm going to head back on home. I honestly feel like we got a lot done. <gasps> oh, it's a cutscene with the whole town. This is precious that we're having a little evening drink. And that one time when Kim Poi here helped my brother when he got stuck up in a tree. Is Lenny drunk? <laughs> It was when Olga threw the frisbee too high and it got stuck there, right? Lewis volunteered to climb the tree after I teased him. But he was too chicken to do anything. Aw, poor Lewis. That's pretty mean. Dios mio. Lenny, your brother was such a klutz before. Lenny, why'd you have to bring back such embarrassing memories? You always get like this when you're drunk. Okay, you don't have to shame her. Good thing this big oaf saw you, Mayor Lewis. I remember your sister was just having a blast laughing at you. I remember that story. My wife and I had just recently moved to the valley, hadn't we, dear? Oh, this is so precious. Why, yes. You were all such energetic kids before. Ah, they're all just being nostalgic, reminiscing. Hey, wasn't that big tree near Pelican Town Fountain, Lenny? Yepers. <laughs> Yepers? What does... I have questions. What has happened to Lenny? I think you were there too, right, Bert? I remember you were pushing your cousin Caroline on the swing in the playground. Well, that explains why Olga threw the frisbee too hard. She was distracted looking at Bert. Ah, <laughs> now she's embarrassed. Hey, no, I wasn't. But yes, I really appreciated this big oaf helping me out. You were like everyone's big brother, Kimps. I remember that time you bought me a new fishing rod when I broke my favorite one when we were kids. And that time you helped me when I accidentally broke Lil's grandpa's shovel? Wait, does my grandpa not have a name? Is he always just referred to as Lil's grandpa? <laughs> Surely he had a name. You gave me all your allowance. I was really surprised. Aw, Kimpoi. Ah, shucks, you're all too kind. No, it sounds like you're the kind one, Kimpoi. You were such a helpful young boy, Kimpoi. You helped us unpack when we first arrived here too. My husband and I were in a very fragile state at that time. And that little gesture made us feel so welcome here. Ah, that time when you pushed me to run for mayor when I was anxious about it too. Okay, what I'm gathering here is Kimpoi is just a legend. You're a great friend, Kimpoi. You guys are ahem, making me feel really embarrassed. I didn't know I was so involved in your lives. I apologize if I stepped out of line before. Kimpoi, why is he apologizing? <laughs> I'll stop being humble and take our compliments, you dork. <laughs> We're really happy you're back as well. Why haven't you talked to us that much until now? We thought you were avoiding us or something. Oh, I'm just here overhearing everything. That's just Lil though, isn't it? The little town eavesdropper. Oh, Lil, hello. Come here. We were just holding a small celebration with Kimpoi's return. It's a bit late, I know, but better now than never, right? You guys didn't really need to do all this, you know, but I really appreciate it. Funnily enough, I recently opened up to Lil that I was worried about reconnecting with everyone again. I left for so long on such short notice without sending a single letter. I didn't know how to approach you all again after doing something so cruel. Kimpoi, we're just happy to have you back. You helped us a lot when you were young, Kimps. So don't worry about anything. We have your back. You don't know how much our friends have helped the orchard while we were struggling, big brother. I was in awe at how much people were willing to help our family because of your kindness. Not to mention how much Lenny has always pushed Alyssa to put on a concert in the village. You secretly wanted her to shine, didn't you, Lenny? Oh, psh. You know I'm doing it so the village gets more funds from tourists, right? Lenny. <laughs> Stop with the lies, Lenny. We all know you didn't charge anyone the last time you had Alyssa perform in the town square. This village is lucky to have a rising star in your hands. <laughs> Lewis is jealous. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, everyone. God, this just makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. I love community. Everyone just helping each other, bigging each other up, supporting each other. It's the most precious thing. Enough talking. More drinking. <laughs> Lenny is the life and soul of the party, truly. This round is on me. Ah, yeehaw. <laughs> I love this. Little bro, I forgot my wallet, so pay for the drinks tonight, okay? <laughs> Lenny is iconic. I promise I'll pay you back later. Why, you? 
Uh oh. It seems like I don't need to worry about talking to them anymore. Aw, Kimpoy, I'm proud of you. Such a long cutscene, but a very cute one. Oh my god, look at all of our pumpkins. That's so satisfying. I think they were almost grown anyway, though. I need to remember to donate one of those fox blooms at the start of a season, maybe. Also, I can actually tick off everything here because we did it all today. Amazing. We actually completed a to-do list in a day. But with that, we are now at the end of the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.